Hey guys, Alex Khan here, and um, I'm gonna show you guys my, my pin collection. At least uh, one person was asking about my pin, so I'm gonna I'm gonna vlog it. And I'm definitely not, you know, like a hardcore uh, pin collector. I'm pretty uh, pretty new to the scene. Although you know, I, I would sometimes you know pick up a pin here and there, but I, I wouldn't consider myself you know th this hardcore uh, pin collector. So I only I only have a few pins. So here is my my pin book. And I don't really like it. it. It's kind of flimsy. This is made more for traveling, but I want to get one that's more for display. But I got this on discount back when we had our 30% discount. So let's open up my, my pin bag here. You know, I've got a smaller one like this, but that can only hold like, what, two or three pins per page, and it was very limited. I still have that too. All right, so here is my, my first page here. Let's see if you can see that. If I'm doing this correctly. Okay, so uh, my first page is my my Pixar page, and you can see here my favorite one of my favorite Disney characters of all time. This is at Duke Kaboom, and uh, he is the Canuck with all the luck. But yeah, he was he actually appeared in Toy Story four, and that's the only movie that he's been in. But uh, this one was easy to find. This one I had to go to. I forgot where I got this. It was either Hot Topic or or uh, Box Lunch, I think that's what they call it. Uh, but this one was a bit harder to find. I had to buy this pin as part of a uh, of a Toy Story pin set. It was this one. You can see here. And um, uh, Forky is not on this one, but there was a Forky in this uh, set as well. But I gave that one away. Oh, I have another Duke Kaboom pin, which I'm pretty uh, pretty proud of. This one uh, appeared at uh, San Diego Comic Con, and it's a it's a, a jumbo sized uh, uh, fig pin. See, extra large. Uh, now this one can actually stand, but what I wanted to do was put it in my, my pin bag. But I didn't know how big it was, so I'm gonna have to reshuffle my pins in order to fit this giant Do Kaboom pin. So let me show you the rest of my 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 uh, Pixar pins here. So uh, this one, this is Inside Out, and I, I got this one off Shop Disney not too long ago, and I, I really like this movie because it reminds me of where I used to work, which was the uh, Wonders of Life. We had this uh, uh, show there called The Cranium Command, and uh, this kind of reminds me of that, except these are more of the emotions inside a person's head, whereas Cranium Command is more about the uh, the you know like the body brain functions and whatnot. Well, that's actually pretty heavy. All right, so what else have we got here? Here's Coco. I don't know if you guys have seen that, that movie, Coco. That's a very, uh, it's a very good movie. Uh, when I saw the the trailer for that, I wasn't too too crazy about it. But when I forced myself to watch it, it was fantastic. Um, now I actually haven't seen Onward yet, but I I know I'm gonna like it. Plus, it has this uh, van called Guinevere. As you guys know, I'm a huge uh, you know car buff, so. Every time that a movie has a car in it for an extended period of time, I'm very interested. Uh, now here, this is from The Incredibles. This is a Dash. I love that character. And Incredibles is one of my favorite uh, Pixar movies. I got nothing on this other on this back side here. Here's a little protective sheet. So here, here I got some of my my live action uh, Disney pins here. Oh man, this is really. I should have chose a different way to to just. To, Let's talk about these. All right, so my favorite Disney live action movie of all time is Cinderella. And I actually got like a pretty sweet sneak preview of that movie, like several days before the movie came out to the public. But that's uh, Lily James as Cinderella. It's not focusing. And down here, this is from uh, Maleficent. That's Aurora right there. I, I want to get the Male Maleficent pen, but I haven't found one with a good price. Ah, it's so hard to see. All right, well, just trust me, she is there. And here's a Beauty and the Beast live action pen. When you open it up, it's got uh, Emma Watson as Belle inside. And it's got a magnetic uh, close to it, so when you, when you put it there, it just stays closed. Now, uh, my second favorite Disney live-action movie of all time is Aladdin. I freaking love Aladdin. 
Like, I think this one improved the uh, original cartoon by a lot. Just like Cinderella. Cinderella improved the original by a lot, too. But uh, these live-action pins here, this one is... That, that was a, I think that was an open release. So was this one. I got this uh, when, the, when the movie came out. And this is the only pin that has Aladdin on it, which is kind of strange because the movie is called Aladdin, but the only pin for him is this one. And then here I got some very limited edition pins. Uh, this lamp here, that's limited edition to 200. They only made 200 of these. Um, here's Jafar. See that? Jafar with the staff and Jasmine and Genie. These three are limited edition to 300 a piece. But the thing with, with these live action pins, nobody collects them, so I don't think people really care about live action pins. All right, now this page here. Here's some more live action ones. Let's start on this side. Here's Herbie. This is from Herbie uh, Fuel, uh, Herbie Refueled with Lindsay Lohan. Freaking love that whole movie franchise. And here is the uh, live action Tomorrowland pin. If you guys had watched the movie, this is that little uh, pin that the girl gives to uh, creative minds and then giving this to them it, it grants them access to this uh, place called Tomorrowland um, and then here I got uh, Lion King and Jungle Book pens here so this one this is uh, this one this one and this one are Jungle Book this one's cool it's got Bagheera um, and he's locked in combat with uh, Shere Khan. It's kind of hard to see, but this one's Bagheera, the black the black part, and right here is uh, Shere Khan. And up here we have uh, Shere Khan and Mowgli. That's a really cool pin. And then up here, here is an, an, a one that opens. If you, if you open it up, it's got uh, Baloo and uh, Mowgli. Mowgli inside. And this one's really awesome. This one right here, this is from The Lion King. This is Mufasa and Scar. This pin is huge. Wait, this one's pretty huge. This one's really huge. It's, it's got a nice uh, weight to it. All right, let's go to the next page here. Hold on. Whew, that's exhausting holding this pin bag up. I, I should have chose a different way to, <laughs> to, to show these off. Holy cow. Sorry, guys. One second. All right, over here, over here, guys, I got some of my attraction pins. And if you'll notice, if they're not, if these attractions aren't extinct already, they're about to become extinct. So uh, this one is Primeval Whirl. Now, I, I hate that ride, but this ride has the distinction in my ride history as being my most sickening ride. Like, this, this is a ride... This ride will kill me more than, than Forbidden Journey. It'll kill me more than the, the, those spinning rides. This is like the one that absolutely just destroys me. And I don't know if you guys have ever been to Disney Quests, but there was a, a, an RC car attraction there called uh, Quest for the Incas. Or, gosh, I can't remember the name of it. But basically, uh, you drive around an RC car and you have a buddy who's spotting you. Your buddy's looking at a maze with all the RC cars. And he is giving you, uh, he's, tell, he's, he's giving you directions on, on where to drive. Because what you're seeing as a driver is a, a first person point of view. You need the spotter there to give you a, a you know, a more of a broad, broad view of what's happening. But this is the RC car that you drive. Oh, it's called Treasure of the Incas. That's what it's called. Um, we got Splash Mountain pins here. Now this one, I bought this. Maybe a few weeks later, the, after the uh, preview for pass holders. Um, these two, I had to buy on eBay because I, I just couldn't find them at the store. And that really annoyed me because these, these, these two pins went on sale at the store like a few weeks ago. And uh, these two I also got on eBay. This one says, what goes up must come down. It's got the two vultures that, that look at you. Uh, before the big drop and then here is everything is satisfactual um if you ride the uh, the ride at magic kingdom towards the uh, the end of the ride before you exit the boat they got this uh, written on the big wooden uh, wall there and it's also part of the zippity doodah song oh and i got one more splash mountain pin 
This one is kind of a kind of a treasure. This is a limited edition to I think 150 or 200. It's very. This is like the most rare Splash Mountain pin there is, and it's huge. I think it, it takes uh, four prongs on the back to hold it. Let me see. Yep, it takes four prongs to hold this thing in place. It's it's a jumbo pin. But it, it is amazing. It's got um, 30th anniversary on it. It's got the brer, bear, rabbit, fox, frog. It's got the the the, uh, the, the brer patch down there. And the, the, that's when you uh, when you get on the log ride. That's where it does the big drop right into the uh, into the briar the briar patch. If you ever watch the movie that this is based on. Um, the rabbit tricks the fox and the bear to throw them into the uh, into the 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 briar the briar patch, because what they don't know is this rabbit spent his whole life inside the uh, the briar patch, briar patch. And, and and that's how he gets away. He does like reverse psychology on them. All right, let's continue my my pins. All right, this this page right here, it's it's kind of a work in progress. Like, there's not any. <laughs> any method to this page here but we got two pins here from wreck it ralph this is vanellope von von schweetz and she's actually one of my favorite uh characters too because she drives a car really fast and she kind of reminds me of myself in the fact that uh she was kind of the oddball um in her in her own kingdom focus there you go but her oddness is what helps her become you know, like, like, like one of the best, basically. And then here's uh, Ariel. Uh, Little Mermaid is actually one of is one of my favorite uh, Disney cartoons, just because when that came out, you know, I wasn't very big into uh, Disney anymore. But when that movie came out, it got everyone I knew back into watching Disney cartoons. And this movie basically kicked off that whole golden age of uh, Disney cartoons. And then the here's a Skyliner pin. That is one of my favorite things to do at, at Disney World, <laughs> to be honest, is just riding a Skyliner. It's, it's such a fun thing to do. All right. And uh, this is my last page over here, but I, I got some more pins after this, though. But this is just Star Wars stuff. There's Kylo Ren and Rey fighting it. And then here's, uh, one, here's my favorite Jedi. That's Mace Windu. And then here's a pass holder exclusive pin. It's got Kylo Ren in it. But that's a really cool pin. All right, I'm going to put this pin book down. It is really heavy, especially in one arm. Um, I've got one more pin to show you. I, I can't put it anywhere right now. So uh, this is part of the uh, Disney's uh, Castle Collection pin. And this is uh, number two of ten. The first uh, Castle pin here was Cinderella's castle, which I didn't get. I, I, I want to go back and get it. But this one is um, is the Frozen castle. And if you, when you open it, you can see the inside of, of their castle. So it's kind of hard to see. But it, it's a really it's a really nice pen. And it, it takes two, uh, two, two things to hold it in place. And yeah, I got this for $29.99. All right, so... Those are my, my, my Disney pins, and I, I know it's not too too awesome, but um, I, I, I like them. Because like, as you can see, you know, I like those uh, live action uh, Disney pins, and yeah, I, 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 want, I want to get a few more. Because like, there's a few more Lion King ones I want, there's a few more Beauty and the Beast ones I want. Um, there's some pins from the Cinderella live action movie that I want, but w whenever I see it, it's overpriced. Like, there's some things where, you know, the price is okay, but this one is this seems a little overpriced. Um, but yeah, uh, I'd like to hear about your pin collection. Uh, did you like any of the pins that I have? Uh, which ones of mine, which one of mine did you like the most? I think my favorite, it, it, it's, it's probably going to be this one here. Oh, here it is. It says limited edition to 200. Yeah, I, I love this pin. Now they also have some uh, uh, some what are that Walt Disney or WDI pens 
for Splash Mountain. And it's got like, you know, each individual character on it, but they're, they're pretty big. But it's got like a gold frame around them. I, I, I kind of want to get those, but they're so expensive. They're like, they're like over 200 each, 300 each. So I, I think this is, this is going to hold me over. <laughs> so that's it. That's my, my pin collection. Hope you liked it.